Hey, what's up, guys? B Frenchie here, and I am back with another shootout commentary. And this time, I want to use my. Well, I'm not really sure if I'm a Montreal Canadiens fan anymore. Like, god damn it, they suck. And I feel like it's not the goalie's fault, like everyone's saying. Like, it's not the goalie's fault. It's just no one is like putting the puck in the net. It's just crazy. Like every time. We get 45 shots, but two goals or less each game. And yeah, we lost about, I think we lost eight games in the last 10 or nine even. So it's just dumb. Just going to maybe mute this guy because, well, don't want him to hear my commentary while I'm recording. So, um, yeah, that sucks real bad for real. Like, in Montreal... What the fuck? Only 75 gold ending? Damn, that's rough. But, um, come on, choose a team. There you go. But I like what I was saying. It's not the goalie's fault. To me, Condon was, is playing good. Tokarski, not so good, but still, is a good backup goalie for our backup goalie. Yeah, basically. But, um, as you guys know, there was an injury, Price was injured for six weeks, and at the same time, Gallagher got injured. So we got two of the best three players, well, best two of the five best abs players injured at the same time. And like if that was not enough, just recently, Petrie got injured, and also um, just yesterday, or no, just last game, there was an injury to Gilbert. So yeah, that sucks real bad because two of your uh, like two of your six defensemen are injured your best goal you're the best goal in the world is injured and your best forward in my opinion is injured so that sucks real bad I'm not gonna focus on the commentary because well uh, on the shootout I mean because it's hard to talk and to shoot at the same time so Galchina let's try just a back and foreign or no foreign back in I missed miserably that was terrible Stamkos let's see what you got Oh shit, nice save Condon. Almost went in. I'm using the flank poke check way too much. I should try to use it a little less. Alright, DR. Now let's see what you got. Coming in. Deeks. That was a terrible attempt as well. He's not moving this net, so I should I'm I know what to do. Right. I'm gonna I'm gonna come out. Oh that was Terrible attempt, right there. Right, so I'm coming in. Flashman, let's see what you got. Deeks, Flashman. Oh my God, I've been lucky. He's been lucky, but like, all right, Phil Poole, let's see. Oh, nice, nice goal, nice goal. All right, Eller, let's see what you got. Ah, oh, God damn it. All right, let's see. I hope we did not lose another one. Oh no. That was terrible. That what? <sighs> Alright. So the Habs keeps on losing. Keep on losing. Once again. Lose another one. But yeah. Whatever. So. Alright. I will. Alright. So let's see. Now. What can I say? So yeah. I, like I was saying. The goaltending was not that terrible. Offense was terrible. And defense, let's say that they were okay. But now that there was an injury to Price, there was an injury to Gallagher, now there's an injury to Petrie, and there's also an injury to Gilbert. Gilbert's not so bad, but Petrie is one of the best. He's the top three defensemen. He's one of the best three defensemen of the Montreal Canadiens. So that sucks really bad. And also, like... Come on, I don't know what's happening to the Montreal Canadiens. Um, well, I know the injuries pretty much. And also the fact that they only scored two goals or less in or their last eight games or so. So that sucks really fucking bad. And the last game they won, they scored only three goals. So they're not scoring goals. The goalies, what do you want to do? Like, Condon was playing in the East Coast Leagues just two years ago. And... Tokarski, we know, is not good, so we've got... Condon is doing his best, I mean, like I was saying, he's playing in the East Coast League two years ago, so he's just happy to be there, and he's doing his best. I I'm, I can't blame Condon, but Tokarski, man, 
it's been good. It's just like there's no goals from the forwards. There's just no goals. So, yep, you can't really win games without goals. So that's what's happening for the Montreal Canadiens. Last game against Minnesota. That was a terrible game. Like, I don't know. Just, and in my opinion, another thing that's really um, irking the Montreal Canadiens is their head coach. He is terrible. He makes always some terrible decision. And I feel like every time there's chemistry between two players, he's not putting them in the same line. Like, just for example, there was um, once there was um, a line with, it was, I think, Galchenyuk, um, Pacioretty, and, and the other one was, uh, I think, Gallagher. No, obviously Gallagher is injured, but there was really good chemistry between um, Galchenyuk and Pacioretty, and some for some reason that I don't know, he decided to move Galchenyuk to the second line and bring Plekanec. Like, Galchenyuk was even doing fucking awesome. I think he had like eight points or in eight in ten games, something like that. And it was um, I'm talking about last year when he first played center for the first time. So I don't know, man. Terrier is not doing good. He's just terrible. For example, like um, we can talk about the fact that he bench, he benched um, Galchenyuk for no reason when he was playing a fucking awesome game against Nashville. That was terrible. I don't, I don't even understand why, and probably will never, never understand. So yeah, um, I really hope that they fire this terrible head coach. Probably, they, they will probably never do it, but. If they do it, man, I'll be happy. But yeah, I don't know. When Carey Price comes back, I'm pretty sure that um, the Habs are going to be good again. Or at least when Gallagher comes back. I don't know. If, they, if, if anyone knows um, if they're going to be back for the Winter Classic. Because I really don't want to see my Habs lose to the... Um, what are they called? The Bruins. Yeah, the Bruins. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just, I'm just a little bit tired, so I forget everything. But... Um, I don't want them to lose to this shitty franchise. Well, not shitty franchise, but, you know, I'm a Habs fan, so I don't like them. So I don't want them to lose to the Bruins in the Winter Classic. That can't happen. So, yep, yeah, I hope they're at least Gallagher is back because Gallagher, man, gives 100% every single game. Every night when he's on the, when he's on the ice, he gives uh, everything he has, basically, to win. So, yeah, it's been a long video already. So I'll just stop here. Um, before I do anything, there's there will be no videos tomorrow. Well, there probably if there's one, it was recorded today, so I won't answer your comments on tomorrow's video. Um, also, well, because you know, if you are wondering why, it's because well, Christmas is not a time to play video games, in my opinion. I'll probably um, be with my family and stuff, so there will be no videos tomorrow, and probably the 26th because I really have a huge uh, party, if you can say. 26 so maybe my next video is going to be the 27 or if there's a video tomorrow it will be recorded today right after this one so yeah if i'm not seeing you guys tomorrow so merry christmas maybe um i hope you all have great holidays and yeah it's been it for me guys um leave a like if you enjoyed subscribe if you're new maybe leave a comment about the habs basically do you think that they're as bad as their record looks if you're a Bruins fan, you're probably going to answer yes to this question. But do you really think that they're as bad as they look? Uh, well, as their record looks. I don't think so. But let's see your guys' opinion on that. And yeah, I've been, I will see you guys in my next video.